Okay, let's take a look at the shear force diagram for this cantilever bridge. A cantilever beam, sorry. So, uh, let's go ahead and label some points. Let's label this point here. Um, let's see, what do we want to do? Let's do... Let's label this point here A. Let's label this point here B. And this point here will be C. Okay? So let's start. At point A, so shear force at A, just to the left of that, okay, um, you'll find that the extra shear force value is 2 kilonewtons. Okay? So just to the left of this, there's no forces, so um, we should have a shear force of 0. Okay, there's no, just to the left of that, there's nothing. Now let's go to shear force at point A prime. So now let's look at just to the right of that point. So you have a negative 2 kilonewton shear force. Next, let's move to point B. Okay, so shear force at B. So just to the left of that point, you have downwards of 2 kilonewtons. Okay, and this uniformly distributed load acts like the same thing as a 3 kilonewton in the middle of the 2 meter section. Okay, so we have negative 2 kilonewtons, okay, and you got to take another negative 3 kilonewtons, okay, and that's just left that point, and that's all the forces, so we have negative 5 kilonewtons. Okay, now let's look at shear force at point B prime, so just to the right of point B, you have negative 2 kilonewtons, take another negative 3 kilonewtons, Okay, and now, because it's just to the right of that point, you're going to add another negative 4 kilonewtons, so we get negative 9 kilonewtons. Okay, now we're going to look at the shear force at point C. Okay, so just to the left of that point, you have 2 kilonewtons in the negative direction, another negative 3 kilonewtons here, the uniformly distributed load, plus another negative 4 kilonewtons, so you get another negative 9 kilonewtons in total. And let's look at it at C prime, so just to the right of point C. So we have negative 2 kilonewtons here, another negative 3 kilonewtons here, the informally distributed load, another negative 4 kilonewtons at point B. And then you have to add, because this is just to the right of point C, you have a positive 9 kilonewtons. So that is right there, it's 9, negative 9, plus 9 is 0. Okay, so let's draw our diagram now. So here's our diagram. And we might as well, for the all purposes here, include these. So it's point C. B and A. So at point A, you have a negative 5 kilonewton force. Okay, oh, sorry. At point A, you have 0 kilonewtons. And then just to the right of it is negative 2 kilonewtons. So it starts down here. Let's call that negative 2 kilonewtons. Okay, now the next thing is you go down to point B. So at point B, you have negative 5, so it goes down here, so that's, that's about 2, we'll call that one there 5, alright, negative 5 kilonewtons, and at B prime it drops down to negative 9, so just also in that B line, the next dot down, you've got to go down, so that's 5, so that's about 9 there, I'm just estimating these lengths, okay, and at point C, it goes back to negative 9, and then it drops back to zero. So what does it look like? It looks like this. So that's our shear force diagram.